Persistence. Oh, yeah. Keep it up. Welcome to The Hopefulist with me, Wendy McClure. This is where we turn those nasty, negative thoughts into positive and work toward a happy, fulfilled life. Now, let's get started. Let's get started. Thank you so much for joining me today. Running a little late this week. I hope you forgive me. Uh, Back on track and here for you. Who can believe that we are in August already? Yes, that's right. Summer winding down. I saw somebody refer to the end of summer the other day as in the present tense. And I was like, oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't. Summer is far from over. Um, we are into August, the dog days, and oh, is the humidity telling us it is August. Yes, it is. Uh, we're actually experiencing a drought here in New Jersey, the first time since I think they said 2016. It's okay. We'll get some rain. I have faith. Um, it's been nice, though, because, you know, I play a lot of pickleball. And when it rains, can't play outside. So that's a problem. I have a big tournament coming up. I'm very excited. (laughs) I'm very excited that I'm going to lose. (laughs) I'll tell you more about that later. But yeah, I got to tell you, one of the reasons that I love pickleball so much, and I know uh, I talk about it a lot here, because it truly has been such a gift in my life. It gives me the opportunity to play because it's a game, so it's fun. First and foremost, it's just fun. Two, it's competitive. I like competing. Not only do I compete against others to win each and every game that I play, but I compete against myself to improve, to get better at certain skills, to get better at all the skills, and to constantly challenge myself to do better. And the other great thing about pickleball is it's such a social sport. I have met so many people by playing pickleball that I have like a whole new group of friends now. A whole new group of friends I would have never met had I not started to play pickleball. So the tournament is coming up in less than two weeks. Um, I haven't been able to play with my partners a whole lot, so I'm a little nervous about how we're going to do because, you know, these people are serious. This is like a real tournament, so we'll see how it goes. You know, I'm just going to go in with the attitude that it's going to be fun, so we'll see what happens. Wish me luck, people. Wish me luck. So let's uh, move on and get some work done. How about that? Starting out with the quote of the day, investigate your BS and take Forward motion. That's right. We're talking about persistence. And a lot of the times that we uh, stop persisting, so to speak, is because we let our own BS get in our way. Do you ever talk yourself right out of doing something that you actually want to do? Yeah, that's your BS. That's your BS trying to figure out a way to stop you from getting to what you want. You know, because change is hard, but change is inevitable. So this month, I'd like to focus on persistence. As I mentioned, it's coming toward the end of summer, and that usually means we've done a lot of relaxing, had a lot of fun, may have lost track of our goals. And we did a mid-year check-in a few a few weeks back, and I'd like to keep reminding you of your new year goals and the fact that it it's not too late to achieve them. We have almost five whole months to conquer these goals, and I don't want you to give up now. When it comes to checking off those goals and achievements, there are a lot, a lot of things that just get in our way. But one of the biggest issues is complacency. That's right. I know big words. As summer moves on, we get used to the longer days and the leisure that comes along with that. We look forward to being outside more and having our morning coffee on the porch and a nice cocktail at the end of the day. You know, it's summer. That's what summer is for. We need to slow down and enjoy life a little. And summer is the perfect time for that. So cheers to summer. 
and getting some relaxation and fun in while you can. But I warn you to not become complacent. It becomes so easy to do because we are enjoying life more and feeling comfortable. But we all know that living life to the fullest is when we get out of our comfort zone, when we challenge ourselves to grow and learn and do more because we aren't trying to get safely to death. Oh, no. We want to skid on in there screaming, oh, what a ride. I know I do anyway. How about you? I know I actually have a long way to go before that is the case, but there's still time. Now, when you get home at the end of a long day and all you want to do is relax, remind yourself of your goals and why it is that you want to achieve them. Are you working on something on the side? Even if it's just a better understanding of yourself and improving your life, all these things take work and effort. And it wouldn't be too much to ask to put in a half hour of this work before you grab that cocktail. That's not asking too much, do you think? You hear me talk about things becoming a practice. You have to, you have to do it. It's a practice. That means you have to practice. And you practice them before they become part of your daily routine. So get in the habit of doing them every day whether it is writing in your gratitude journal or free journaling to figure out what is really going on inside that head of yours. I've often heard people say that when you journal, sometimes it takes up to a half hour of writing to even start to get to the heart of what you are truly feeling inside. Now, this is because we have so many distractions that the we have not really dug deep inside of ourselves for so long that they're so far down that it takes a long time to let them up again. I've been doing something called morning pages for the past few months. It's when you write three full pages of thoughts first thing in the morning, every morning. I don't always do three pages. I got to admit that. But what this does is to help you figure out some of the things that are going on in your subconscious mind so that you can clear it. It's like a way of venting almost. Writing about it early in the day is that way of venting. And now it won't be on your mind all day because you've already addressed it. You get what I'm saying? It's also a way to get in touch with how we are really feeling. Our lives are so full of distractions and noise. It's hard to know what's really going on inside us. There's so much chatter all the time. The TV, the radio, the phone, the kids, everything. So this is a time to get quiet with yourself and tap into what it is you need. Now, I don't do this as much as I should, but when I do, I always feel a little more peaceful. It's important to take the time. You know, sometimes I want to skip it, and then I remind myself that I need to do this for my own well-being and peace of mind. It's important and there, therefore a necessary part of my routine. It's not a luxury. It's a non-negotiable. Because if I don't do this, I'm not calm and cool the rest of the day. I'm scattered and in reactive mode rather than thinking things through. I know it can be really tough to keep up with new things in your life. And we've been conditioned to not like practice, right? We just want to play in the game. We also know we won't be good at it unless we practice. That is why it's so important to take the time to do these things every single day. And when it is one of those days that you absolutely don't feel like doing it, then by all means, take the day off. But you better get back to it the next day because this is the practice that is going to help you achieve the life of your dreams. And it's going to bring you peace. So if you still don't feel like it the next day, come back to your why. Why is it that you set out on this journey in the first place? Why is it that you want to better yourself? Why is it that you are trying to achieve? What is it that you are trying to achieve? And why is it so important to you? That why 
is the thing that will keep you going over and over again. Write it down on a post-it and put it everywhere. On your fridge, on the dash of your car, at your desk at work, on the front of your planner. Write it on your bathroom mirror. The more you remind yourself of your why, the more you will stay committed and motivated to achieve your goal. Life isn't always easy. In fact, it's rarely, rarely easy, but it is always worth it. And trust me when I say you are worth it. You are worth this work. You can do it. I have faith in you. Now get to it. If you like today's episode, please share it with your friends. Let them know where they can get a little bit of inspiration and positivity. And hit that subscribe or follow button if you haven't already. Gosh, nab it. Then you will be sent each new episode as they are released. Thank you, as always, for joining me. Now, I want you to go on out there and make things happen this week. Be badass. You know I'm here cheering you on. Thank you for listening to The Hopefulist. Now, don't you feel good? Make sure you come back next week. See you then.